Hi guys, Rocket Stove Wood Forge. Here is my take on it. I can see a burn chamber or the forge chamber approximately four inches and approximately three inches in height. And this would be an oblong approximately 12 to 14 inches long. The fireboxes will be on the side of the forge. This is where you'd load all your fuel in on there. And the entrances to the forge from the firebox will be on the bottom. And these will be in multiples. Sort of inch and a half to two inches square running inside the firebox, inside the forge, sorry. The fireboxes would have to be enclosed with maybe just a small air intake there or totally enclosed with some holes drilled in the top to allow for venting with a slider or something irrelevant. The <clears throat> the top, looking at it from the top, you'd have your central forge, and that, that would be the firebox along down each side of it. And you would have multiple entrances into the forge, around there, and slightly, probably slightly opposing on the other side. The flue would be probably, I would think, on this end, somewhere there, so that as the flue draws, it's drawing all the heat down towards this end. Um, the actual forge would have to be really well insulated to maintain the heat in there. And I would have thought an inch of um, ceramic wool around the inside of it with a lightweight refractory of about an inch in the bottom, the top and on the sides. This lightweight ref refractory is, is really good stuff if you've ever used it before. It soaks in a certain amount of heat but it, it radiates an awful lot of heat back in whereas the heavy heavier refractory like fire brick it tends to rob heat from a forge because you've got to you've really got to heat this the heavier uh, refractory fire brick up you know you've got to heat that up before you'll maintain any heat in the forge but the lighter weight stuff it's more honeycombed it's got a lot of little air bubbles in it and um, little air, air pockets so it tends not to you know need as much heating and you can get a white virtually white hot surface on it and the <clears throat> the entrance to the forge looking on the end would be down the bottom there something like that and that's where you would put your work in your bars or whatever this would need to be closed off because you don't want to be pulling air in through this so you could maybe on your bar or on your work, you could maybe have just a, like a sacrificial thin plate just on your bar that when you push your bar in, it closes up that opening or simply just a bit of ceramic wool just to close off the entrance as you put your bar in to keep, to keep the air pulling in from each side there and into your forge. Okay guys, I think that's it. Uh, that's my idea, my take on it anyway. Catch you later.